show you how to set up an intercompany chart of accounts in Dynamics 365 Business Central. The first thing I did is I logged into my parent company. I also have another subsidiary company, which we'll get to a little bit later. But right now I'm in the parent company. And what I want to do is look up the intercompany chart of accounts. And here's the intercompany chart of accounts. Now I've already filled it out for the parent company. And the way that I did that is I went to process and then copy from the chart of accounts. And this took all the accounts from my regular chart of accounts and brought it into this window here. And then I wanted to map that to my parent company chart of accounts. And that's represented on the right most column right here. So what I did there is I went to process again, went to map to account with the same number. It merely brought all these account numbers, which were from my original chart of accounts, and brought them over to this column. Now, the next thing I want to do is I want to make this available, this intercompany chart of accounts available to my subsidiary company. And the way to do that is to export this. So I'm going to export it. It'll create an XML file. You can see that down here. And now let's go into the subsidiary company. So this is my subsidiary company. Let's go to the intercompany chart of accounts. I already have one for this company, but you know, I think it's wrong. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete this. I'm going to highlight this window and go down to the bottom of the window here. Highlight that. And then delete. And now what I want to do is import the intercompany chart of accounts from my parent company. So go to import export, click on import, choose the file. To my downloads area. This is the one I just downloaded. Open that up and it will add all the accounts. What I don't want to do is go to process and then map the accounts with the same number. So these accounts on the left hand side are from my parent company. They're also the intercompany chart of account numbers. But they don't necessarily match the account numbers in the subsidiary. So what I have to do then is go down here and I've got to add them basically manually or you can export it to Excel and maybe do a VLOOKUP to add them back in. So it's up to you what to do, but I'll just show you an example. So what I'll do is configure an account that I know is different. I've got an insurance count down here. It's 61,000 in my parent company, but in the subsidiary company, it's something entirely different. So take a look at that. I'll look it up here. It's health insurance. So I'm going to select that. So you could just go down the column on the right hand side and select the account from your subsidiary company and match it to the intercompany chart of account. So once you've completed that exercise, whether you import the changes or you go row by row and manually enter them, then you'll have an intercompany chart of accounts. And you can transact business between two entities within your organization. Mm -hmm.